Are you listening? Are you really listening? Answer these questions out loud. What does S-H-O-P spell? And what do you do at a green light? Stop or should you go on green? Katie. I'd say stop. I mean, most people do. So while we are listening, we're not really listening. Jamila? We do it all the time. Life can just get too busy. Can't it, Mr. Fry? It can indeed, but there are people out there desperate to be heard, and you can help by taking the time to listen, even if you're a prince. Being able to talk about how you're feeling is essential for keeping mentally fit and healthy. So maybe now is the time for us to stop and to really listen. I worked several times on uh, very traumatic uh, jobs involving children. And after I had my own children, um, I think the, the relation between the job and the personal life was what really took me over the edge. And it, I started feeling things that I've never felt before. And I got very sad and very down uh, about uh, uh, sort of this particular family. And I think you, you start to take away bits of the job and you take them home and you keep them in your, your body. And of course, you don't want to share them with your loved ones because you just don't want to bring that sort of stuff home. So the only place you can talk about it is at work. And if you, if you don't have necessarily the right tools or the right environment at work, then you can see why things snowball and get quite bad. Right now, you are one of 20 million people listening. On more than 300 radio stations. And each and every one of us has the power to make a difference to someone. Just by taking a minute to stop. And to listen. To really listen. I declare before you all that my whole life, whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to your service and to the service of our great imperial family to which we all belong.